It is time, everybody, to venture back into the Godot game engine. So here we are with uh, absolutely nothing here. Now I must say that uh, the last time I tried out the Godot game engine, uh, it was like ages ago, back in like 2020 maybe, or 2021, I don't, maybe 2022. I don't actually remember when I tried this out, but uh, I've got a little bit more of an understanding of the game engine now than I did before. So let's do a new project and let's go ahead and browse and, you know, create a new folder, stuff like that. Okay guys, so I just realised that I was in the wrong version and here we have uh, the proper version. So, um, yeah. Do new project and let's, let's do the same thing again. <laughs> and now I think we need to do a new project. So let's just call this project name, I don't know, uh, project one, because why not? And let's create the folder. There we go. Nice. And let's just put it to a forward plus because like, why not? And I guess none on that and then create an edit. And here we are. Now, obviously the best thing about Godot so far is that uh, it does load fairly quickly, quicker than Unity loads up, and the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to do a 3D, well, well, yeah, 3D scene, and what I want to do is I want to try and do what I tried to do in the Falco game engine, which is well, one, do a user interface with text to say hello world and stuff, and two, to make an object sort of fall down, and when it hits the floor, it will either say something or it will destroy itself. That's what I want to try and do. So first of all, I think, uh, now as best as I can understand it, since this is a node, you can have as many nodes as you want inside of a level, I think anyway. So... If I do plus and then do UI, wait, hang on, user, wait, hang on, so control, wait, what's in control, so there's no user interface, okay, so how do I get, so wait, scene, new scene, oh, right, okay, so, wait, so this one's, okay, so let's just, I don't know, you know what, um, <laughs> Yeah, this is this is this is already getting uh, confusing for me. Right, user interface, and gonna rename this to I don't know uh, canvas because why not? And I think uh, gotta save this scene as a canvas. So. Uh, wait, first of all, create a folder, call it, I'm going to call it nodes, because that's what these are, even though they're scenes, I'm going to call them nodes, I don't even know how this is going to work for my brain, but let's just try it anyway, uh, wait, hang on, where's the, uh, wait, refresh, oh, nodes, oh, it's going to go into nodes, oh, okay, good, there we go, it's in there. Okie dokie, so I think child node, so let's see what we have in here, so container, okay, let's put in a container, okay, okay, so, so far, so good, we've got that now, so what's this, container by itself serves no purpose unless a script configures its children, if you don't intend to try to script, use a plain control node in the, in the Okay. okay, wait, what? I suppose we don't actually need to have a container, do we? Do we? You know what, I'm going to just try and do this instead, so, um, text. Uh, text, um, text edit, uh, mul wait, so wait, wait, what's, what's, what's this one? Multi-line text editor, and a control for... Rich text label. 
Is there like a normal text that I can find? Oh, it's called a label. Right. Okay, so label. Okay, so let's go ahead and put in uh, a random piece of text. To be fair, I kind of like how it sort of um, resizes itself when you put text in there. That's, that's awesome. That's actually pretty nice. Auto wrap mode. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to leave that alone. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to save this and then inside of here, wait, first of all, let's put this uh, 3D scene, I guess maybe. Uh, then we're going to put the canvas in here. Wait, probably, oh, wait. Oh, you can. Oh, that's weird. That's so weird. But anyway, um, so let's attach a camera. So a camera, that's easy as that. Camera 3D. Cool, Leo. So, um, I mean, it's not exactly going to see the canvas, is it? Wait. Oh, wait. No. Select. Okay, yeah, do that one, okay. So, how will that display up? Right, wait, 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 wait. The reason why none of this is showing up, there is a clear reason why. So, if I remember correctly, uh, environment, right, so... Add environment to scene. Uh, add, uh, uh, I, uh, you, there we go, finally, okay. And I guess add sun to scene. There we go, okay. So, save that, and now it should, right? You should be able to do it right, right? Boom, okay, we've got something going, everyone. Okay, so, now, what I would like is... Can I just do like an empty, em, uh, node? Just a, just a node. <laughs> okay, so then I can do a new folder, and let's call this one scripts, you know. Keep everything organized, you know, all the same. So, inside of scripts, let's create a new script. Now, of course, I have got C Sharp enabled, but we're going to try our best to learn the GD script. So, let's call the script, let's call it Hello World, actually, yeah. Hello, uh, wait, can it actually have a space? I'm going to not have a space just in case. So, create, and there it is. Okie dokie. So, extends node, of course. So, uh, now, one thing I do like about Godot is that if you actually need any help with any of the scripting involved, then you can go to help and then search help and you've got a bunch of help right here, which is absolutely insane. So, what I'm going to try and do is, first of all, I'm going to do... Because we want to have one of our variables public, it's unlike Unity, which you have to do like serious eyes field or public, in this one you have to do export, um, and we're going to call it, wait, we're going to still do var, right? Export var, um, Text. Yeah. Text. Maybe? Wait, is that... Wait, 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 Export the text. Wait, 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 Label. Yep, yep, yep. Label. Ah, let's just call it text, I guess. Uh, is that going to be fine? Um, right. Get rid of the pass. And let's just try. Wait, how do you how do you do the input 
thing. I think it's like, uh, if, uh, if, wait, uh, key, no, um, get, key, no, okay, yeah, I, I need help. So we've got input here, so let's, okay, <coughs> it does this, okay, so let's see, action press, action release, okay, so let's just try action press, wait, wait, is that it, wait, Ac yeah, action press, action press, ah, uh, wait, this is not, this is something wrong with this. So let's just see what the whole export is. So export distribution type. Uh. Okay, well, this isn't really helping me that much. Wait, wait, where was it that I just. Did I just lose what I was looking for? A little longer than a few minutes later. You know what? I do wonder. Because. I think with the whole export thing, you can only export variables, and even though this is sort of a variable, it's still calling something specific, so I think, um, wait, what happens if I put in this? Will that make it better? No, okay, so, I'm going to take this away completely, and, right, let's just, uh, save, wait, what the hell? Action press. Can I, like, at least, um... Thing is, though, why... I've seen people, like, you know, type code in there, and normally it does show up, but for some reason, this sort of IntelliSense is not showing up for me. I don't even know why. Because, yeah, this normally shows up. So, action, and then press. It seems like I'm not able to do that. Or maybe if. If action press it seems like it won't allow it 15 minutes later okay so we've got over here is action press so string name i do wonder if i need to actually go to my project settings input map and then add new action okay so uh, let's just do something, you know, something, and then plus, and listening for input, so E key, um, Y, wait, E or physical E, uh, E, yeah, there we go, E, there we go, nice, so, got the E key now, so, if we go back to here, action, so, if I do, is uh action it's still not showing up and to be fair what's interesting to me is that i can't even type in just action like it's not allowing it so i might need to watch a little bit of a tutorial to get through this a few moments later oh wait hang on a minute if input dot is action Wait, you can't be serious. If in put dot is no, you can't. Is action no? Even that's not allowed. Wait, 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 wait. If I put in input is action right. Okay, so syntax and. Uh, specific characters are like sensitive. Okay, so action. Right, so this is what I like. So, something. See? I like that. Like having everything all there. So, uh, I don't really need anything else for this, do I? Well, you know what? Let's just. Uh, so, I think indentation is definitely needed for this. So, let's just try to do uh, that. Label dot set text is that no no that's not something can I just do text no label set what can I set it as 
set script, no. So we've got a bunch of settings for, oh, text. Wait, is it just that easy? Just like, get text or? Text, set text value setter. I mean, I tried doing that. Wait, so text. Um, wait, will that work? So is equal to uh, hello world. I mean, I don't think this will work. Okay, so let's run this. So remember, something is E, so. Okay, so that has not worked for some reason. I do wonder if it's because it can only reference what's in this sort of node tree. So let's just try canvas, right? Wait, it's not, it's not showing up, okay. So neither is that one. Okay, wait, so let's try camera. No, none of that is showing up. Okay, so I must admit, this one's a little more tricky to get with, and I think I'd rather uh, learn Godot by myself rather than trying to learn in one video with you guys. So um, I'm going to stop it here, and I don't think I will uh, use Godot uh, in the future. I think I might, I might use it, but I'm probably more inclined to use Unreal Engine because I'm definitely more au fait with that than I am with this. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave it here and I just thought, you know, why not take another look at the Godot engine and update my thoughts on it. And to be fair, um, my thoughts are, it's the, uh, the coding itself is, really nice as it does give you a bit of documentation even though the documentation is a little confusing but uh, the IntelliSense is pretty good itself um just the way that I want to use it it's not quite there yet well well I haven't been able to learn much from it yet so um and I don't think I'm going to be able to do that in one video or something so it's gonna take me some time to get used to all of this stuff but uh, yeah thank you so much for watching everyone hope you all enjoyed this uh, video and if you did enjoy please do leave a like and I shall see you guys next time peace out everybody